Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to read one of my stories, Schubert Sees the Best. When we read today, we are going to identify ways to be kind. Down here, my little Schubert picture says, People sometimes have bad days or say mean things, but they don't always want to be mean. Sometimes you have to think and understand why the person is upset. Schubert Sees the Best by Dr. Bailey, illustrated by James Correct. It was a curious day in Bug Valley. Schubert wakes up with all kinds of questions swirling. Schubert's sister Sophia hears him singing. Schubert, she asks, why do you think the other bugs at school call Crenshaw hurtful names? Are they mean? Schubert feels concerned for Crenshaw the Cricket and for his school family. He puts his finger to his head and to think. He says, I don't know. But I can find out at school. Come on. Schubert sings as they walk to school. Hooray, hooray, I've got questions today. Hooray, hooray, answers are on the way. At school, Schubert shares his plan with his teacher, Miss Bookbender. She gives him a clipboard, a pencil, and a detective hat. And a cape to help him investigate. Miss Bookbender whispers something in Schubert's ear. Pss, 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 and hands him some funny heart-shaped glasses. Sophie looks up from her journal and wonders what Miss B Bookbender is whispering. Schubert heads off to start his investigation. Dun, 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 dun. Schubert is ready with his clipboard when Etta the earthworm comes out of her hole. Etta, he asks, why do you call Crenshaw hurtful names? And replies, he hollers out all of the answers instead of raising his hand. I can't think when he is yelling. Schubert puts on his heart-shaped glasses and responds, maybe. Answers just pop into his head faster than he can put up his hand. Hmm. Hmm, says Etta. Let me see those glasses. As she looks through the glasses, she says, I see. He has trouble remembering to raise his hand. I can help by raising my hand so he knows what to do. I'd rather be helpful than hurtful. Next, Schubert walks up to Big Benny, the beetle. They touch knuckles to greet each other. So, Benny, why do you call Crenshaw hurtful names? Well, Stubemeister, he grabs things. You're supposed to say, may I have a turn? But Crenshaw, he just yanks things right out of your hand. He's a big bully. Big Benny responds. Schubert slips the funny heart-shaped glasses on and says, Maybe Crenshaw just doesn't know the words to use. Hmm, says Benny. Well, let me see those glasses. Schubert stands on his tiptoes and slips the glasses onto Benny's head. You're right, little buddy, Benny exclaims. Crenshaw needs me to use my big voice. I could say, I don't like when you grab. Ask me if you want a turn. I'd rather be helpful than hurtful. Next, Schubert approaches the ant triplets. Angie, Angela, and Angelina. What's with the detective hat, they ask in unison. Unison is a fancy word for all at the same time. I'm doing an investigation, Schubert answers. I want to know why you make fun of Crenshaw and call him hurtful names. The ant triplets huddle to discuss the answer. Angel speaks up. Crenshaw doesn't sing with us at Circle. He just sits there like a bump. He's lazy. Hmm. Which side is he really busy? Schubert lowers his funny heart-shaped glasses over his eyes and says maybe he enjoys watching us sing more than singing himself. Ah. Let us see those glasses, responded the sisters as they squeezed three heads into one pair of glasses. Their faces are squished together 
like halves of a peanut butter sandwich. Wow! He learns by watching us, the sisters say together, just like sometimes our friends learn by watching us, being good role models. We can help by singing and having fun. We would rather be helpful than hurtful. Next, Schubert decides to talk to Crenshaw. Schubert asks him, do you think the class is mean to you? Oh, yes, says Crenshaw. They call me hurtful names and tease me. Schubert hands Crenshaw the glasses. Oh, I see. I need to teach others how to treat me. I can use my big voice to say, I don't like when you call me names. Then I can watch and listen to others for suggestions of how to be helpful. We can help each other. I'd rather be helpful than hurtful. Schubert investi Schubert's investigation is over. He sits at his desk to review the information. The class is mean. Is Crenshaw mean? Sophie watches as Schubert looks over his results. What did you find out? Tell me, tell me, she can't chance in a singy-songy voice. Why do all the bugs call Crenshaw hurtful names? Is he mean? Is the class mean? Is Crenshaw mean? Oops. Schubert hands Sophie the funny heart-shaped glasses as he says, Well, neither. Crenshaw or our bug family are mean. She puts the glasses on and looks around. Hmm, I get it. She says, we forget to see the best in everyone. We forget to be helpful. Instead, we are hurtful. Pretty cool, huh? She re responds. Yeah, but I have to know. What did Miss Bookbender whisper in your ear when she gave you those glasses? Sophie asks. Miss Bookbender told me to see the best in others. When we use loving eyes, we become helpful instead of hurtful. <gasps> the glasses were the loving eyes. We turn problems into solutions, Schubert replies. Then, what a surprise! Miss Bookbender hands each student their own pair of funny heart-shaped glasses. One by one, they slip the glasses on and look at each other with loving eyes. Schubert begins to sing. Hooray, hooray, I have questions today. Hooray, hooray, answers came my way. The class is enchanted by what they have learned. Joyfully, they sing along. Hooray, hooray, we can see a different way. Hooray, hooray for our loving eyes today. Oh, look at the little hearts for Edda the inchworm. The end. Schubert sees the best.